Nine years after the Malegaon blast, the prime accused face an important bail hearing in the Apex Court. The Supreme Court is set to seal the fate of the key conspirators along with several other accused over a span of nearly a decade. The case has uh, taken many twists and turns. Sadhvi Pragya had been arrested within a month of the blast outside Nashik Mecca Masjid that killed 31 people. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Shrikant Purohit was arrested in November 2006. In 2012, a Makoka court had passed an order denying Sadhvi Pragya bail. In February this year, Lieutenant Colonel Purohit had filed a bail plea against the Bombay High Court decision. Purohit's wife had filed an affidavit for his bail on the grounds that NIA had not filed a charge sheet against him. In fact, let's listen in to an exclusive conversation with Aparna Purohit, the wife of the key Malegaon accused uh, with strategic affairs editor Gaurav Savan after she met the president last year in March and she had sought bail for her husband. Uh, Aparna Purohit, you met the president. What did you tell him? Um, I have, uh, that's what I've told him that it's been five years since uh, things are just at a standstill. There are no, um, uh, I mean, uh, there's just no progress in the case and uh, uh, he's been such a dedicated officer. He's been, um, he's done a lot for the country. He has received a um, uh, Chief of Army Commendation card. Uh, he has been instrumental in uh, uh, giving training to the ATS when the ATS was raised. And uh, he has a lot of uh, certificates which uh, show that uh, he had really infiltrated a lot of uh, other terrorist organizations like LET and SIMI. Yes, uh, but the same, the same ATS went and charged sheeted him. Uh, they allege that he provided uh, uh, RDX uh, to, to terrorist organizations for Malegaon. Uh, he hasn't been charge sheeted by the NIA. They've been investigating this matter for two uh, years. Yes, and uh, uh, it's been two years since they have taken over the case. NIA has taken over the case, but there's no charge sheet from NIA. And uh, the case is just at a standstill. And uh, there's uh, uh, so I just wish that uh, uh, they take up the case very... Uh, uh, I mean, there is some progress. At least we are given the hearing. All right, for, for more on the story, let's uh, go across to the Supreme Court where uh, Simi Pasha of Headlines Today actually joins us. Simi, if you can hear me. Uh, if you could just take us through what time is this uh, uh, matter coming up in the Supreme Court and what really uh, does one expect today? What really is about to happen in the court today? Good morning, Sanket. Uh, the matter is expected to come up uh, before the Apex Court at about 10.30 this morning. It's a crucial bail hearing in the 2008 Malegaon blast case where uh, both the accused, uh, Colonel Purohit, Prag Sa Sadi Pragya Singh Thakur and the others have applied for bail. Now, the case has, as you rightly pointed out, taken a lot of twists and turns. The arguments that are going to be put forth by the NIA is that there is uh, crucial evidence available against Sadi Thakur that she provided that motorcycle on which that uh, bomb was planted outside a semi office in Malegaon in 2008. As far as Colonel Purohit is concerned, the NIA's argument is that uh, he sourced 60 kgs of RDX uh, from Jammu and Kashmir during his tenure in the state, which he used, uh, some of which was used in the Malegaon blast in 2008. Another charge against him is that he found that trust called Abhinav Bharat with the intention of uh, of, of staging terror attacks against Muslims in retaliation to in retaliation terror strikes that were being carried out by Islamist terror organizations. Another charge by the NIA is that uh, Colonel Purohit did not share exclusive information that was available with him as far as the activities of his outfit is concerned. Of course, Colonel Purohit's argument is that he's a decorated officer of the Indian Army, he's a military intelligence officer, and that he couldn't have shared all the information. Another argument that is being put forth by Colonel Purohit's uh, defense team is uh, as far, when the bail plea comes up is that the case has been going on for almost six and a half years now and the NIA has still not filed its charge sheet. Of course, the NIA's counter argument so far has been that uh, the, all the documents of the trial had been moved out of the trial court to the Supreme Court because Colonel Purohit immediately applied for bail. Of course, as we already know, the Supreme Court had denied him interim bail in this matter in 2012. He's already sought, uh, he's already been granted bail in two cases under the Arms Act. Today, of course, is a crucial hearing because uh, the Supreme Court will decide whether Saadi Pragya Singh Thakur, Colonel Purohit and the accused can get uh, bail under the Makoka case in which uh, they've, been, uh, they've been booked under in, in connection with the Maligam blast case. That's right. Simi Pasha, many thanks for joining us at this moment with all the latest. So 10.30 is when the court eventually decides whether bail is, bail is in fact granted to these accused or not.